All right, uh, this video is going to be my pickups over the last couple days. I went to two card shows. Uh, I also went to um, a local shop. The I guess it was Thursday I went there and I picked up. I showed these on the Passes the Live board, but I haven't showed them on the video, so I will show them. Okay, here we go. This is Marcus Simeon rookie card. I believe it's 2014 Topps Heritage. Now, these cards were high numbers. And apparently the high numbers were only made available as a full complete set, which is a fairly expensive set when I looked it up on eBay. So I would think any good rookie uh, singles like this are probably going to be kind of undervalued, except for like the big names, which are probably overvalued. But so, and, so that's I think that's a good deal. I got it for uh, two bucks. So this is a 2013 Pinnacle Mike Trout Team 2020. It says 2020, but it's from 2013. I guess they're saying that he's going to be great in 2020. I don't know what it was, but anyway. Um, I just think it's great. A dollar for a um, 2013 Trout insert. I thought that was a good deal. Okay. I'm going to save the big one for last. Uh, this is a 2019 Eloy Jimenez rookie. Um, I'm going to guess this is Archive. I love the 2019 look because it's just like the Jeter, the 93 Jeter. So, I think that's a neat card. I got it for a dollar, so that was another good one. Um, next is this. I believe I already have this, but anytime I can get this for five bucks or less, I think it's a good deal. This was five dollars. It was even less than that because... The guy I deal with always marks down things, especially when you, well, yeah, he always marks down things. I was going to say when you pay for cash, but I, I don't want to get him in any kind of trouble. But I didn't give his name, so I guess it's okay. Um, this is a 2016 International Inc., Fernando Tatis. As you see, he was with the White Sox then. Uh, it has a price tag of five, which I was good with. But like I said, I think I got it for, I got it for even lower. And here's the big one. And you guys can tell me if I overpaid. I don't believe I did. He had it marked at 30 and an SP. It's a Shohei Otani Donruss rookie, rated rookie. Um, from what I understand, from what I looked, it is a wrapper redemption. You had to sign in, send in a bunch of wrappers, and you could get the last few cards of the set. There's also apparently a, a harder to get like variant of it where it's, I guess the writing on the front is in the Japanese kanji, but this is the regular one. But I looked these up on eBay when I, I, I always comp stuff, especially higher dollar cards like this. For me, this is high dollar. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. I'm not out there buying hundred dollar cards and stuff like that all the time. Anyway, I comped it and it looked like most of them were, you know, about 50. So I thought it was a good price. And we'll see where it goes from there. But, yeah, if you know any more about this than I do, tell me. All right. Uh, okay, so there's that. And I'm going to do this one real quick. And then I will shut it off. And I'll restart it once I get the other cards sorted out. But this, these are a bunch of cards I got from a seller on Friday when I went to the show. That's when I got that box, the last video I did. But before I went to him, I went to this guy. He had a bunch of decent cards in the quarter box. I'm not sure how good some of them are, but I'll give you my reasoning behind them as I go through them. First of all, this is Christian Pache. I believe it's, oh, it says T65. So it's actually, I think it's an insert from the regular top set. I like the 65 look. I know Pache isn't much of a player anymore, but it's still a rookie I can add to my box. And I like the way the 65 looks. That's why I got that. Again, these were quarter cards, so it's not like I lost a lot. This is a Rowdy Tellez. It's not a rookie, but it is, it's a it's a like an X Fractor, I believe. I I guess it's not numbered, but I just thought it was neat. I don't know if these were worth anything or, or if quarters about what they're worth, but it's kind of neat looking. He's a brewer, so that's good for me. Here's the first Bowman Chrome 
Jared Kelly, who I know nothing about, but I figure first Bowman Chrome for a quarter. I can find out about him when I get home. <laughs> All right. Here's another one like the um, Pache, but this is a player I actually like, and I think it's collectible. Tyler Stevenson, rookie card. So it's from that same insert set. Here is a first Bowman, not Chrome, but it's Max Muncy from the A's. 2022 so another first bowman i thought this was a pretty good deal here you go otani third year card for a quarter so i think that's good i think i actually think i got two of them this weekend which i'll probably show you later i believe i actually bought it out of someone's dollar box as well i wish i had realized that i got one for a quarter earlier but i didn't Okay, here's an Acuna, which I believe is, again, from that same insert set, which it is. And, of course, it's not a rookie, but it's Acuna, 65. I think it's cool. Nolan Gorman, it's just a prospect card, uh, 2021, I believe. But it's the Mojo, as you can see the thing in the back. So I thought that was worth probably a quarter, at least. Same with this one. It's not a first Bowman, just a prospect. Heston Kerstad. Mojo again, so I thought that was a good one. Same year as the Gorman. Uh, we got Heston Kerstad Futurist, and again, it's got the Mojo thing happening. So, and we all know about this guy. This is just a prospect card again, so it's not like it's a rookie. But Adley Rutschman with the Mojo prospect card. So again, I thought those were all good deals at a quarter. Here we got Juan Soto. Bowman Platinum. Uh, it's from... Uh, I think it's a 2021. Yeah. That's a neat card, though. It almost looks like a refractor. It could be a refractor, I guess. I don't see any indication of that on here. But it could be a refractor. I don't know. All right. Manny Machado. Nothing special about this card other than I just like the uniform that he's wearing. I think it's kind of cool. And Machado's cool, and I like the fact that it's an 88 insert. I think that's neat. Here's another 88 insert, Barry Larkin. So that's, um, I basically PC Larkin. So for a quarter, I thought it was a decent card. All right, we got uh, 87. And this is the 87 insert from the year before. So I guess this would have been 2022, I think. The other ones were 2023. Vlad Jr., so obviously I like him and good stuff. One last card from that seller, then we're going to work on the other stuff. This is a Chipper Jones Trophy Hunters, it looks like it says. I think this is, might be from Stadium Club. I'm going to have to look this one up, and it's a possibility that I have it. But it's a really nice card, so I mean, I think for a quarter, even if I have it, it looks like it's, again, it's another one looking like, maybe it's just the chrome look like they reflect light. I don't know, but I'm seeing some reflections back there off the light. So, all right, that's enough for this part. I'll do more in a little bit. Thank you.